Are you trying to befriend the adorable little critters that are roaming around Disney Dreamlight Valley but failing miserably? Well, if that's you, today I'm going to show you how you can become the bestest of friends with these adorable little creatures, so much so that they become your companions. Companions, if you're not aware, is something that you can have walk around with you while you're exploring, fishing, doing your normal day-to-day -day business, and they're so cute. So it's definitely worthwhile paying attention if you want some new buddies. If you want to see all the available companions, then all you need to do is go to the collection area of your book, go to the critters, and they will all be displayed there. This book is so useful when you're trying to figure out which one you want to feed on a particular day because it will tell you not only where to find it, if they're actually present there and what time they'll be there. There is one thing to note, however, the ravens are not yet unlocked, but we do know from this that when they are unlocked, they will be in the forgotten lands. So I'm gonna tell you for everyone else how to befriend them, but the ravens as much as I would like to, because how cool would they be sat on your shoulder? Oh my gosh. But yes, let's get started and try and make some friends. The first critter we are going to talk about is the squirrel. The squirrel you may notice pretty early on because they are located in the plaza, so you will see them scurrying around and causing a general nuisance. Their favourite food group is the fruit and nuts, however their favourite food is the peanuts. You may not have yet found the peanuts in your game as of yet, and that is because you unlock them by completing the Remy quest line. And once you've unlocked them, they'll become available to purchase in the restaurant itself. Once you have the relevant food item in your inventory and you've located a squirrel, all you need to do is walk up to them, hit E and feed them the food. Once you've done this, should it be a favorite food or one they enjoy, you will notice some pink stars will come out and that means they've enjoyed it and your friendship level has gone up. Repeat this every day and eventually you will have a brand new companion. For our next critter, I have come to the peaceful meadow and this is where you will find the adorable little bunny rabbits. Their favourite food, of course, is a carrot. What else would it be? However, the rabbits are a little bit more difficult to capture as they're very skittish. What you have to do is approach them and they will run off, chase them again, repeat this three times, then eventually on the third time, they should settle down and you should be able to speak to them and feed them the carrot that they want. Once you've done this, of course, the friendship level will increase and you may even get a nice little treat. Next up, we're going to head down to Dazzle Beach because we need to be friends some of those adorable looking sea turtles. Crush will forever have my heart for sure. Now, the favourite food for the sea turtles is seaweed. If you don't have any of that, then seafood will make do. However, I would definitely recommend the seaweed. Once you find the turtle, approach it and you will notice that it will hide inside its shell. Do not panic, the turtle is just a little bit shy, he needs a few seconds rest and then eventually he will pop back out and you will be able to feed him. So just be patient and it will definitely work out in the end. For the next one, we are heading to the Forest of Valor to try and befriend some raccoons. The raccoons are so cute, however, they are a little bit temperamental and are known to run off. Their favourite food is blueberries, which is convenient as they're in the forest as well. However, when it comes to lowering these and approaching these, you need to be so careful. If you spot a raccoon, approach it slowly. If it starts rising up on its hind legs, stop immediately, otherwise it will run off. When the raccoon returns to its sitting position, you can move forward. Please be aware you might only be able to move forward a step or two. You just need to repeat this process until you are close enough to be able to click the E button and feed it the blueberries. It can take a while and yes, it did take me a few times to get this correct. For this one, we are in the Glade of Trust. This is where you will find crocodiles and their favorite food, which is the lobster. The lobster can be found by fishing in the gold puddles. Once you have your hands on one of them, go about finding your crocodile. However, go very slowly because they are skittish. You can only approach the crocodiles when their head is down. If their head is up, do not approach them. 
take it slowly, move one step or two at a time. Do not try and go about this fast. You need to be patient. I did also find that when doing this, moving the camera whilst the head was down did trigger a reaction. So only try and move the camera if you need to or when the head is up. That didn't seem to cause it to run off. But yes, once you have taken it slow and managed to move forward, you can eventually approach it and feed it the lobster it desires. The sunbirds look suspiciously like hummingbirds to me and you will find them in the sun lit plateau. This is such a cute little bird. They do require a little bit of um, finding as I do find sometimes they can be well hidden. But once you've found them, then what you need to do is feed them their favorite food, which is the bromelade. This is a type of flower that is found in this biome and all you need to do is walk up to them and then hit E when it's time to feed them. And finally, we are in the Frosted Heights biome and that is because we are gonna befriend some of the adorable little Arctic foxes. These are so cute. Their favorite food is a fish and that is the white sturgeon and you can find this in this particular biome by fishing in the golden bubbles. Once you have one of those fishes, you need to try and approach the fox. The fox is very similar to the rabbit. It is very playful and will run off. All you have to do is just keep following it, keep chasing after it, and then eventually that approach button will appear and you can feed it the fish. And there you have it. That is how to befriend a cute little fox. So that's the end of the video. I hope you found this helpful and I hope you will see lots of new companions coming to move in with you soon. I can't wait for the ravens to be released. That will be amazing to have them. I know they probably won't be on our shoulders, but flying around next to us, that would be so cool. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy. Let me know which one is your favorite critter in the comments below and I'll see you again soon with another video. Bye-bye.